Hi, John Fugler here. Let's spend a few minutes retreating with God. I'm sure you've called out someone's salvation at one time or another. Let's be honest about it. (laughs) Jim can't possibly be a Christian, you say. Or, uh, I know Barb isn't a Christian. Look at the way she lives. I understand. I do a bit of salvation analysis at times. And I shouldn't. I think we'll be surprised when we get to heaven who is there and who is not. What if we spent more of our time sharing the gospel instead of judging whether someone is a believer or not? Jesus was great at this. The New Testament has several examples. The woman at the well in John 4, Zacchaeus in Luke 19, and Matthew who walked out on his profession to follow Jesus. That's in Matthew 2. If you're like me, it's a lot easier to cast judgment under my breath than to openly share my faith. I'm an introvert, so it makes it even more of a challenge. Can you relate to that? This morning, I was thinking about the fact that I have Jesus. But what about everyone else? That's what I asked myself. I started thinking about people globally and worked my way all the way back home to the people on my street. God got my heart and I became burdened for them. Yet, I still didn't sense a boldness to go door to door to tell them about Jesus. And that's probably not the best way anyway. Sharing our faith is not about being an extrovert or knowing all the answers from the Bible. It's not about skill or human effort. It comes back to our relationship with Jesus. This morning when God moved on my heart, I closed my eyes and began praying for people in my circle of contacts who don't know Jesus. As I said earlier, I can't be sure who does and who doesn't know him. But the fact that I went to prayer started to soften my heart. I found myself hurting for them rather than judging them. Then I did something daring. I asked God to give me a chance to share my faith with someone today. I want to see people as ones who need reconciliation with God if they don't have it already. I want to see people as Jesus does. I know I'll have to come back to this same place over and over again. My heart has a lot of hardness that needs to be melted, especially for people. When I'm finally motivated by love to share my faith, I won't hesitate. Sharing your faith is an outgrowth of a vibrant daily experience with your Savior. It comes down to your relationship with God. Let me take you to the same starting point I was at this morning. Who are those in your circle that probably don't know Jesus. Make a mental list and begin praying for them. Let God soften your heart for the lost. We're going to go deeper when we look at 2 Corinthians 5, 14 through 20. You can turn there now. We're going to read that together, or you can listen as I read. We're going into our read, reflect, relate time. And as you do that, Uh, You might want to take your own spiritual self-assessment, and you can do that by downloading it at retreatingwithgod.org. I created this so you can get a quick look at where you stand and where your relationship is with God right now. Take your spiritual temperature, so to speak, and then do it again a few weeks or a few months down the road. See how the Lord is working in your life, but it's a great starting point. Download it. It's free at retreatingwithgod.org. 2 Corinthians 5, 14 through 20, we'll read that. It's a powerful passage. And if you're reading along, just just let it soak in. If you're not reading with me, just listen carefully, okay? As we think about what I just shared about sharing Christ with those around us, starting with verse 14. For Christ's love compels us. Because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal 
through us. Isn't that a powerful passage? And I pray the Lord is working on your heart through his Holy Spirit. So let's go to our time of reflection. What things stand out in this passage? Do I see anything new about God, or does this passage reinforce something I already know about him? What's the theme or message of this passage, or multiple themes and messages? Then ask these key application questions about the passage. First, is there a promise for me to claim? Is there a sin for me to avoid? Is there a command for me to obey? And is there an example for me to follow? And now to our knowing Christ question. The most important question is this, in what way or ways do I know the Father or Jesus better as a result of reflecting on this passage? Now let's relate to God. As you've reflected on this passage, take time to pray about the things the Lord has brought to mind. Prayer, of course, is all about your relationship with God, and our relationship with God will then overflow into our sharing Christ with others. So enjoy a conversation with Him now. It's also a good time to bring to God the request you came with when you first sat down with Him. So let's do that, and then I'll close our time. Oh, Lord, thank you that you've chosen us to be your ambassadors, that we carry with us this message of reconciliation. So change our hearts. Instead of being judgmental, I pray that we would be welcoming and that we would share the greatest news ever announced, this message of reconciliation in Jesus Christ. Help us to put those words together. Give us sensitivity to the people around us. As you've brought people to mind, I pray that we would share Christ with them. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, as we go from here, I would invite you to 
Take that spiritual self-assessment, pick it up at retreatingwithgod.org. Retreating with God is a ministry of fresh faith 24-7, a place where you can retreat with God and get to know him more deeply. Go to freshfaith247.com. I invite you to dive into the resources there that help cement that relationship you have with Jesus. Would you do that? Go ahead and check it out at freshfaith247.com. Here's the verse we always close with, Philippians 3.8. You got it committed to memory? (laughs) If you've been listening long enough, you probably do. So you can repeat it with me. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. God bless you. Invite others to listen and to engage with God, with retreating with God. So share this podcast with other people. Let them know that they can experience what you're experiencing in this time together. Look forward to joining you again next time.